officially licensed character? Are you ready to build a keyboard? Why, yes I am officially licensed character. I would love to build a keyboard. We're gonna build a keyboard with the Melgeek Pixel, world's first brick compatible keyboard. It's a keyboard that you can then attach bricks to. You might be familiar with a few brands. I can't say those brands, but we're gonna use them and have some fun. Canvas, Dot, Small, Big Minds, B, Mechanical Keyboard, Pixel Fun World, Mail Geek. Wow, so there's a product manual. Uh, welcome to the Pixel World. I'm actually pretty excited about this thing. It's pretty neat. On their website, you can make your own designs and stuff and then uh, share that with the community or grab someone else's and then make it look however you want. Otherwise though, I haven't built this thing yet but I'm pretty stoked. What else we got on the back? Oh, cool. There's a bunch of different shortcuts and stuff. Uh, this is a wireless keyboard, which is pretty cool. It's got like a 3100 milliamp hour battery. Not only are there shortcuts and layers that you can do uh, right out of the box, but they have their own software that you can then customize as much as you want as well. You make your own design and then you print it out and then you cut it and then you put it under the keycaps because the keycaps aren't the same. Like what you do is you put a switch in and then you put bricks over top of the switch, in between the switch and the keycap. We've got the Van Gogh stuff, so that's cool. I don't know how that's gonna go. Ha, you get it, because it's Van Gogh. Oh, these are cool. I like how they're bricks. Oh my God, that's clever. Okay, you see how these are like little bricks? I don't even know what the point is of these, but that's neat. I love the boxes already. Uh, sure, there's gonna be a lot of unusual things in this because of the way they've built it and incorporated the brick compatibility. So even the USB dongle, it's got these little bricks on here. So you can stick stuff onto this. Oh my God, look at that. That's my USB dongle already. This is amazing. I already love this thing. Can I just buy this after? <laughs> oh, here's the cable. Also brick themed. It is killing me having to say brick themed. On the USB-A side of the cable, you've got like a six piece brick that you could put up here. And then on the USB-B side, you've got four piece brick on either side, which is great. So you can do tons of customization past um, what you normally could with a regular keyboard. They've gone with this like rubberized style as well. I've seen this in other cables, uh, specifically like flat SATA cables, but I've never seen this on a keyboard cable. So that's pretty neat. Oh, cool. They've got their own bricks. You can get these kits in three different colorways, I think. And what that will do is gives you extra like brick color add-ons so that you can change the, basically the color palette of it. I don't know why they went with Christian. Is it like, it's got, got, we're in God's brick house now. Black, red, purple, lavender rather. Yeah, so it looks like these are definitely just aesthetic. I normally don't really like extra little plastic bits here, but I'll be honest, this is really cute and it's really on theme. So I'm gonna give them a pass here. Orange or like a tangerine. Uh, yep, green, I almost said yellow, I don't know why. And blue. And then we got the keyboard. So I guess what the real question is, is like, is this keyboard going to actually be any good. We'll talk about the price later, but it's definitely not cheap. What the hell is this? It says open me and it says next page, but like there's nothing else there. Oh, you guys see this? What? That's awesome. Okay, so cool. It's a really minor thing, but it's actually really cool. Uh, this thing already looks super cool. It's obviously pretty big. Like it's, it looks like it's about a TKL. There's a lot of extra space on all the sides, but what you're meant to do is take your bricks. Are you sure we can't say What about, what about mega blocks? Editor bleep that. <laughs> uh, the bottom as well can be bricked out in whatever kind of design you want. Yeah, I don't know. It's just super customizable. One of the nice things as well is the angle. So right now it's, it's like flat, like this is super flat. But what you can do is they should have feet in here. I'm not sure if that's these guys or not, but you get feet and then you put bricks down and then you put the feet over the bricks. So you've got this perfectly customizable typing angle, which is actually really cool. A big complaint for me a lot of the time is the inability to adjust feet. I love keyboard feet, I love the adjustability, but with this, you're gonna get basically whatever you want. You wanna do something stupid? You wanna do like, like this tall? I don't even know what angle that is anymore, but you can do that. <laughs> I don't know why you would, but you could. On top of that, you got brick accessory options on the sides as well. Uh, this is like a on and powerless and wireless switch uh, because it does do wireless. It's got a battery in here and Bluetooth and uh, 2.4G if you wanna use Wi-Fi. This whole thing is plastic and it feels pretty similar to uh, the brick plastic used. But you obviously see all these gaps and stuff, especially the type C part right here. You just end up with all these gaps and it's really a minor issue, but after dealing with a lot of more expensive keyboards that are CNC aluminum and like meant to fit perfectly and seamlessly together, it's something that you notice. And it has, 
sort of a cheaper feeling, which I guess is a little unfair because the way this thing is constructed, that's just bound to happen. I would love to take this apart. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have time. Otherwise, some cool features are the dongle is supposed to fit under here. Check this out. Oh my God. My only complaint right here is I wish that they had um, an insert or something so that you could like actually physically stick it to the inside of the board. Now I've got it in there and that's great. I love the little compartment, but I mean, you move this thing at all and it's gonna rattle around, which is just kind of annoying. Not only are the switches custom, they're custom T or L switches from Kale. They've got their own custom profile called MLG. And then what they're doing with the keycaps is nifty. Between the switch and the keycap, there's actually a brick. Let me get this open. There we go. I can now take all of these guys, these printed out things, and then I just take this I put it in there and then look, it's not the best example because it's scroll lock and you can hardly see, but now my little bit of artwork is inside that. And what you can do is you can take these and like put them over the entire keyboard so that now you've got this like cool, whatever style you want to put on here. You can get blank, completely clear keycaps, uh, but the numbered and lettered and characterized ones come standard with the kit. But that'd be super cool to get a fully blank set and then you just print off like whatever imagining you want to do and throw it in there. Super customizable, super fun. These have got to be the feet because there's four of them and yeah, they feel a little rubbery. Cool. To install the little rubber feet that you get with it, it's pretty easy. You just make like a four pattern and then you pop them right in the middle here and they'll just kind of slot in just like that. Um, yeah, I will actually really want to get a cool typing angle on this. So let's do that. Their bricks are not that, that great. Um, I think that if you can find your own brand of bricks that you like personally, you should just stick with those. Okay, the ultimate feet, for the ultimate typing angle. And you can go more extreme than this. This is just about as big as I think it would be comfortable. <laughs> is, I know, I love this actually. This is actually a much more comfortable experience for me personally typing at this angle on such a flat device. My wrist might hate me after like an hour of typing like this, I don't know, but right now it feels comfortable at the very least. All right, let's take the switch out. Uh, we've got the tactile ones, these little green and white housings. I actually really like these a lot. I don't know if they come pre-lubed. It doesn't really sound or feel like it, or if it is, it's pretty light. But, you know, they're not bad. I would be perfectly okay with using this, and they're five pin, so. We're gonna plug it in, type on it a bit more, maybe install some of our custom bricks, uh, but not before a word from our sponsor, Jackery. Jackery's new Solar Generator 1000 Pro is their fastest solar and wall charging generator yet. It consists of a Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro portable power station and 80 watt solar panels. Plug it into the wall and get a full charge in under two hours and deliver up to 100 watts of power thanks to two 100 watt power delivery ports. Check out the new Jackery Solar Generator 1000 Pro at the link below. All right, let's plug this thing in. You can support up to eight devices on this thing wirelessly and then swap it with the hotkeys. So we're actually gonna try to use the dongle today and see how good the dongle is. Cool. Oh, oh, that's my problem with the feet. And these bricks that they come with, uh, I tried to slide the keyboard forward and it instantly broke one of the feet. So we're just, we're gonna keep this here and it's not gonna move. Really cool idea, get your own bricks. Here we go. Okay, 94 words per minute, 96% accuracy. It's not my best and absolutely part of it is because of the weird way that these cups work. Once you push down, if you go to type somewhere else, because it's all super flat, if you're really quick and you don't move your fingers up enough, you're gonna get caught in between some of the keys. I'm not crazy about the profile. I've never been super big on a lot of flat profiles, but I think that when it's like a chiclet style and there's basically no cups involved, um, it's a lot easier to type. Maybe that's just me. I think that the angle kind of helps. Like if I were to do that again with it completely flat, um, Maybe it would be better, I'm not sure. At least we can adjust it basically as much as we want. As for the keyboard itself though, and how it feels and sounds, it's pretty decent. It honestly, yeah, like the, it's definitely a more premium keyboard. It costs a fair bit of money, but you're definitely getting something for all of that money spent. One thing I'm not crazy about is the sort of clear look. So I think that me personally, I would actually tear off all of these little clear guys and I would build on top of this. This just goes to show how much you can actually customize this thing. On top of that, their app will let you change uh, function layers and macro keys and whatever you want. It'll hook up to up to eight devices, which is great. You can go to their website and then kind of like paint your own thing per pixel. Um, it's not pixel art, but like when you're talking about blocks like this, it 
kind of, it's basically the same thing. We can take Linus's face if we wanted and just like put it on the keyboard. Let's get some stuff on here, gamers. We're gonna, you know, just throw a bunch of people on here, but like imagine if you had the time to sit down and actually build something incredibly cool, like a whole scene over here and like around your keyboard and stuff. You got a sign here, what's the sign say? Only the best. Of course that's going on the front and it fits our white aesthetic. You can like put a wheel down here somehow. I mean, this would fit actually, boom, fits right here. Sick, amazing. Who needs a knob when you've got a spin wheel that does absolutely nothing except for look super cool. Is this a bit of an unholy creation? Yes, but you know what? I think it's pretty sick. Inside the keyboard as well, while I haven't opened it, their website does show off a bunch of layers of both pour on foam and uh, silicone. So you're getting the sound dampening and honestly, I believe it. Uh, it feels and sounds pretty decent. Here, Andy, get some of this. I have no idea if they've lubed the stabilizers or what they're using. Maybe they're clip in, maybe they're screw in, I'm not sure. Um, but either way, they're actually pretty decent. There's like zero rattle in that. I guess the only really limiting factor is you're kind of stuck to this single layout. So if you're not a big fan of TKL, this might not be the keyboard for you. And the funny thing is most people get TKL because it's a, you know, shaving off like this much of the keyboard so you can fit more stuff on your desk. Uh, you're not really doing that with this. This is about the size of a full size keyboard. We're pretty damn close. They're using regular switches as well. So if you don't like this kind of see-through keycap look, what you can do is you can put whatever you want on here. Get your own custom keycaps, maybe get some really fancy ones, slap them on, and type away. The problem that some people are gonna have, uh, this entire base kit that we got today, $280. And that's for the pre-order. It's actually, I think, regularly 300 bucks. Now you get everything. You're not just buying a base kit. You've got switches, you've got keycaps, you've got the board itself, and it is wireless, which is always gonna cost a bit more money. So what it comes down to is whether you think something this niche and this cool is the keyboard for you. Honestly, I think for a lot of people, they're totally willing to pay the uh, <clears throat> brick tax. And so they're perfectly fine with spending a bit of money on something like this. I'll tell you right now that I don't think you're gonna be that disappointed, especially because it's hot swap. Even if you buy it and you don't like the kales, whether you get the linears or the tactiles, you just switch them out with something else and off you go. Not only is this super customizable, but it's just very versatile because you're getting both wireless and wired options. So it's kind of hard to go wrong. I mean, it it's expensive, but it's not crazy expensive in the world of custom keyboards. If you want to take a look at another kind of interesting keyboard, check out the Amafa by uh, Angry Meow. It's an Alice layout with a bit of a twist. It's pretty cool.